Facing a worsening labour shortage, Hong Kong has turned to mainland China to fill the gap. And since last July, companies in the construction and transportation industries have been able to apply to hire workers from China. But not everyone is happy with the new policy. Jojo Chan with this report. Since last July, Chinese social media platform Xiao Hongshu has been a buzz with posts of job opportunities in Hong Kong for Chinese workers. The city's decision to bring in construction workers from China was a break from a long-standing practice that aimed at protecting locals. Authorities said it's a temporary measure, but locals are worried they will be crowded out by the cheaper source of labour. For construction companies, they do not have many options. Chunwo Construction brought in 120 Chinese workers since the relaxation. Zhuyuan Hong Kong has earmarked a string of big-ticket projects in its latest infrastructure rush, from the massive Northern Metropolis residential project to a blueprint to build more railways and tunnels across the city. Financial Chief Paul Chan said the annual public project expenditure will exceed US $12.7 billion in the next few years. Authorities also in February scrapped decade-old curbs on residential properties in a bid to bolster its flagging real estate market. It's predicted the construction sector will face a labour shortage of 40,000 in 2027, up from the current 10,000. Last year, the sector employed some 400,000 workers. Nearly half of them were over the age of 50. The Hong Kong Construction Association conducts manpower surveys twice a year since 2012. 我們最近兩次做,譬如是2013年的4月和12月 so far, more than 7,100 Chinese workers have been approved under the quota of 12,000 allocated to the construction sector. Authorities said that they will not be paid below the city's prevailing median wage and are only allowed to take part in public projects of more than US $130 million. There are calls for the government to lower the threshold and make it permanent. If the shortage persists, that could be a possibility. We and it's not just workers on the construction sites that are in short supply. There's also a shortage of engineers, architects and surveyors. The Construction Industry Council predicted a considerable shortage of up to 6,500 such professionals by 2027. And joining us once again for this discussion, Sean Lee from Robert Walters and our Hong Kong correspondent, Deborah Wong. So uh, we saw that package there. And Deborah, what really stood out uh, for me was the fact that it's predicted that the construction sector in Hong Kong is going to face this labour shortage of 40,000 in 2027. And that's up from the current 10,000. Now, Deborah, that number is staggering. Uh, I would imagine there are some serious consequences then for the future. Well, absolutely. Let's unpack the situation. So Hong Kong needs construction workers for two pressing priorities, housing 
as well as infrastructure projects. Now, let's talk about housing first. So the housing shortage in Hong Kong has been a perennial issue. Um, there is an average wait time for about four, uh, 5.8 years for public housing. And the government has committed to build about 410,000 housing units over the next 10 years to meet the demand of some 308,000 housing units. So a shortage of workers could very well delay all the housing projects and extend the already long wait. For infrastructure projects, you know, Hong Kong has hyped up the Northern Metropolis project, as you've heard in the story earlier. It is a massive redevelopment of its rural north, and basically Hong Kong wants to build up that area to make it more high-tech in order to gel seamlessly uh, with the high-tech city of Shenzhen just across the border. So what that means is building uh, infra uh, transport infrastructure like tunnels, across boundary points as well as roads. Um, and that connectivity is important because that connectivity really is the crux to making the whole Greater Bay Area work. Um, you know, the GBA is expected to bring in fresh economic opportunities to the city and the connectivity is also meant to encourage a lot of residents as well as established companies to relocate their operations from the established uh, city centre in Hong Kong Island right now to the rural north. And so without all that, you know, it's very hard to convince people that the GBA works, that the northern metropolis will work. So Hong Kong really needs to show up its construction manpower in order to meet those goals. And, and Sean, I mean, China's property sector in turmoil, right? I mean, Wang Ke being uh, latest uh, to be in the mix. So to what extent has the jobs in the construction uh, sector been, been impacted? We definitely have seen a drop uh, of jobs in the construction sector, and not, not not only construction, but also real estate and and the whole property management sector. Um, so I, I think it, it makes sense uh, to sort of uh, transfer more uh, skilled labor in, in China to Hong Kong. Uh, and, and indeed, what I see in the market is that uh, you know more people are are, be, are are interested in moving to Hong Kong for even if a short term. Uh, project because, uh, you know, the wage is uh, far higher uh, in Hong Kong. And to be honest, uh, the uh, work conditions in Hong Kong would be, um, you know, much better than that uh, in, in China. Um, the, the, the problem is that, uh, you know, is this sustainable? And, uh, you know, what if the, the Chinese property market in the future uh, needs more workers? Uh, you know, would we sort of uh, uh, encourage those people to move back to China immediately, or what? Uh, so I think you know this is what uh, what's being discussed in the uh, construction uh, industry in China. Uh, and at the, same, at the same time, I think there is also a, a sort of a language issue there uh, because you know um, m most of the uh, workers you, you, you could imagine that they don't speak uh, Cantonese or uh, English. Um, uh, you know, maybe some of those in Guangdong province they they can speak the language of. Uh, Cantonese. Um, so, you know, there are there are a lot of discussions going on in the construction uh, sector in China, but I would say positively, uh, there are more people sort of interested in moving to Hong Kong because of, you know, the wage, the higher wage uh, that they can get. Mm. All right. Well, we've covered fair ground here on the labor woes uh, in, in Hong Kong and a larger part of uh, China. Thanks so very much to our guest, Sean Lee, Managing Director from Robert Walters China, and of course, our Hong Kong correspondent, Deborah Wong.